Hey you guys, Prue here from Suds and Satin. I'm back to make another soap for my spring release. Um, this one is Sweet Pea. And I got this one from Soap Goods. Um, I usually get it, I usually get my fragrances from Nature's Garden Candles or Save on Scents, but I was ordering other stuff from Soap Goods and I needed this fragrance so I figured I'd try theirs. Their smells a little bit stronger and there was no percentage information on their website, so I, I sent them an email because if any soaper out there who's used Sweet Pea, you know it's not like the other fragrances where it's a 5% usage rate. A 5% usage rate. It's Sweet Pea is usually 3%, the 3.13% or something like that. So I, I sent them an email asking, you know, what's their percentage rate? And they, I didn't like the answer I got. They... They said, well, you know, you got to try it out, start with half an ounce, and or then try an ounce if that's not strong enough. I didn't like that answer at all, you know. Soap makers, we need to know these things. So, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and do the 3% as well. Especially since this one smells stronger. M most sweet pea scents are very faint, very light. This is this one is nice, but it's, it's, it's a little bit stronger. So, that's my little ramble. <laughs> okay, so... In my oils, I have my coconut milk, my aloe gel, and titanium dioxide because the whole soap is going to be white. And then I'm going to put little hearts on top. This is, uh, what is this? Neon pink and green vibrance, both from Nurture Soap. They're going to go on the top. So, first let me blend up my oils. Okay, that looks good. Before I put the fragrance in, I'm going to put some in these colors. But I don't want the colors to be thick. Let me just stick blend it a little bit first. Quick. Ooh, it's still so bright even though the soap was white. Shocking. Okay, let me put that to the side. Green is not as bright. Maybe I should have used neon green. But I mean, I, I wanted it to be pastel actually. <laughs> but the two should match, you know? Oh well. Alright, that's good enough. Now, let's get the fragrance in. I hate these damn tops. I can't get it off. <laughs> I'm 
break my nail. Ouch. Okay, finally got them off. This looks a lot more yellow than the others as well. Oh no, please don't turn myself yellow. This is supposed to be a white soap. Well, I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if it turned yellow, but it's not what I want. Just gonna hand stir. Okay, now let me get the molds. That's good enough. And this time I remembered to put something underneath them. Remember last time I made this soap, I made a grand mess trying to move the molds. Okay. I doubt this is going to fill all of them. Maybe two more. Yep. All right. Oh. Too good to be true. It's still kind of difficult to tap it down, but it's easier with this under it than with nothing under it. Now, I don't think I should bore you to death putting all these little dots on all of these soaps. So, maybe I just do a few and then bring you back. It's time to make the hearts. Oh no, that's not right, Prue. I'm already messed up. Okay, let's do this the right way. Okay, now let's make the little hearts. Which is very simple, you just go through. Okay. 
I don't know if you can really see. try to lift it up okay that's my sweet pea soap for spring 2019 i'll do the unmolding it'll be two days for me but it'll be in just a okay i'm back this is several days later i made this soap on a saturday night and then i got sick so i couldn't be bothered to cut any soaps or anything for a few days it's been about five days so i'm gonna mold my um sweet pea soap so it's nice and brick hard by now. Oy. There you go. They're all going to look exactly the same. Let's take one more out. Nice little hearts. I like this design. It's simple and very cute. Thank you for watching. See you next time.